I have been on a quest to find the perfect impact driver bit, but you know that already if you've been subscribed. Today we got another cool must have bit, we're going to check it out now. We've been bringing a lot of cool impact adapters to the channel. And why do these adapters help so much? Well, this. Now, it doesn't matter if you're using a Phillips, a Torx, a Square, whatever. The tool that I am going to show you will help you stop dropping your screws, especially if you're in tight to reach areas or if you're working off of a ladder, it's just a pain. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap out that bit and we're gonna use an insert bit. You see the other bit that we used? It's gone. And this is where the DeWalt Rapid Load Adapter comes in. Most favorite adapter out there that we tested so far. There is a bit of a cork to it, which we'll talk about later, but it's all metal. Not only that, it is magnetic, has one feature that all of the other bits that we looked at did not have. So we're gonna take our insert bit and we're gonna throw it right up on front. I didn't notice any difference with any brands that we use. I'm using the Milwaukee right now, but the Makita's work, the DeWalt's work, they all work just fine. It goes in there and it does not come out. It stays in there, but check this out. This is my favorite part. What? I'm gonna show you that again. Look at that, you don't even have to touch the bit to pull it out. It's just so cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yes, that is very cool. And now we're going to take it, we're going to put it into our impact driver. Once you do that, you can either install the bit or you can install the bit first, whatever. But you just put your screw on and that magnetic ring holds on to it for dear life. And now that it holds on to that screw, you can take it into those awkward areas or up on the ladder and you don't have to worry about this thing falling off on you. Now I'll show you this thing in action, but just because of what it's doing right here, it should save you a lot of headache. And especially if you're a mechanic and you're trying to get into those hard to reach areas, this will definitely help you and help prevent any of these bolts or screws falling down into your engine or wherever you're working. Now that said, there is a cork to this. We're gonna put this on speed one and I'm going to pull the trigger and you can see that there is a little bit of wobble on that screw. It is not as, I guess, stable as the Makita bits that I was showing you. This is mode two and you can tell this is really not holding on very well now even though you wouldn't be using that when you put the pressure down on the material that you're using it works just fine but i did want to point that out to you that it is not as strong as the makita magnets that we have been using but what's cool about it is you don't have to touch it with your hands you can bring that down about a quarter of an inch that's the deepest you can go with this and if you wanted to, you could pull it back out, didn't have any issues with that. Now some people mentioned that in really tight areas, because it's a little bit more bulky on the end, well, yeah, I can see that getting in your way, but I love these bits. And I think they work really well when you just have a hard time holding on to those screws. For this one here, I think the biggest plus about it is the easy release when it comes to those bits. You just swap them out if you need another one, and that's all. I think the build quality on this is really great. Don't have to worry about this busting on you if you were using it a little bit too rough. I don't think it's as balanced as the Makita that we looked at earlier. And I don't think the magnet is as strong, but at the end of the day, it still works very, very well. So I'm curious about how you were feeling towards this bit. Do you like it? Have you used it? What do you think of it? Is this something that you could use or is this something that, eh, probably not? Let me know in the comment section below what you think. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe with the bell notification rang so you don't miss out on any more cool tools. Our quest for the perfect bit continues. And if you don't wanna miss any of them, make sure you're part of this channel. With that, we'll be back with more videos soon.